Hello, Tracy here. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and just jump in. And we're going to be just pulling from the Kipper, seeing what messages Spirit wants to come out. I hope everyone is having a good day. I am. I'm so glad it's the end of the week or towards the end of the week. So we start off with bad health. Someone is in bad health. Someone who maybe has a high position. They're in bad health and it's like they're on their way. They're on their path. Something about a mature woman and a main female. Something else about a privileged lady. And this privileged lady with this gift. Something else about a house. What else, spirit? What else? A message. A message is going to be coming through. Something about some change. Maybe from a main male to a privileged lady about a house. Something that someone was working tirelessly on. Tirelessly. Something is coming out. Something is coming out. Maybe something about a child. Let me see something. High honor. Let me put on my spectacles. Give me one second. Something about someone who's in bad health, I believe has advanced in some way. It's like they've they've gone on their path. And it's like now they are in in line to graduate. Whether that is and I guess that would be spiritually. But something about this child and this relationship with this child something about this person can't get this child off his mind what else spirit we have official person so someone's coming with some news an official person's coming with some news Maybe about this person that's in some bad health. And maybe this person is receiving some type of honor. But with this main female, something that she's been working on with this house. And this mature woman in this main female thought that whatever they were working on, whatever she was working on was going to bring sudden wealth. Clarify the high honor and the pathway through spirit. Yeah. So it's not too far future. Someone's going to receive a message. Yep. Someone else is going to be. They. It's like they are imprisoned now for trying to steal I feel like huh 
Someone is in prison uh, mentally, spiritually, financially. Maybe someone tried to steal something from someone, a great fortune from someone they were in a relationship with, whatever that is. But whatever it was, that shit came to an end. Something that somebody was working on could be something in the family. Something somebody was working on came to an end. And it's like, So now this privileged lady, someone is concerned about her. It's like this is someone in the family that this whole relationship came to an end. And someone else had some expectations. But somehow there was some uh, justice, justice that came. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Something about a child. This child with this gift. Yep. Something about a child with this gift. And this person that thought that they was getting away with something, something that they worked on for a long time. Sorry, baby, but that just is not going to shine. Let's go ahead and pull some tarot. What else, spirit? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? Let's pull the hell of this up. money, honey. Let's see what Tarot's got to say. Thank you, Spirit. Do I need to mix these up a little? Let's see. Let's put these in there, too. more times and if this goes past 10 minutes on uh, TikTok please catch the full video on YouTube at Sweet Spot E Magazine thanks so we start off with the high pre the Hierophant mmm I feel like that spirit spirit is saying something mmm we have the Hierophant, we got Temperance, we got the Wheel of Fortune, and we got the King of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, we got Justice peeking out is the Five of Coins, and peeking at the very top is the Devil. So apparently... There's some justice about somebody trying something. Maybe this emperor, because this emperor is right behind the five of coins. You know? Like they say, the, the, the devil made me do it. And sometimes people don't know how true that is. And we also have the emperor that came out. And at the, back, at the bottom of the deck, we got the five of cups. So, so somebody is in deep regret but with this hierophant and this temperance it's like spirit is healing someone spirit is has helped to heal someone someone is is finding balance someone is feeling that healing in there and they're feeling that the the wheel of fortune turning in their favor it could be that king of cups 
Because that King of Cups is now seeing and realizing the truth. And he's looking at everything. He's taking stock of the situation. Secrets are coming out. Things were that were overburdening him. Things that were making him feel trapped and stuck. He's looking at all that. He's looking at all that. And it's like this person looking at all that is helping them to grow. It's helping them to heal and to deal with everything that they have to look at. Because when we reflect on the past, we, we look at everything. We think about the stuff that happened when we were a child. We And we look at it as we are adults now. We recognize things. We see things. I remember the first time I was given the evil eye. I was a teenager. And it was by a woman named Sandy. And she had a friend named Mary. And I was in, I was around my father because Sandy needed to go to the store and she sat there and shot me the evil eye and I remember at that moment I could hear my grandmother's voice saying give her it back and so I stared at her back and she looked away dirty bitch ugly ass dirty bitch with all them fucking marks all over her face and all that fucking acne. One looking at my father like what the fuck you seeing that ugly ass <laughs> dog looking bitch. Anyway back to this shit. Yeah. Somebody four cups with the two of wands. They took some time out they needed to take some time out and they thought about what was really important to them and where they was just taking somebody else for granted and where they needed to go from there. Because, like I said, shit starts coming out. Shit was coming out that they figured, that they realized was overburdening them. And I bet you it was this Queen of Swords that had something to say about it. Because the Queen of Swords and this is the King of Swords, because the King of Swords is going to sit there and that's the person that's talking about the truth. And the Queen of Swords, she's talking about the truth and she ain't, she ain't giving you the truth with no Vaseline. She don't care if it rips when it, she don't care if it rips you. No Vaseline, not even any healing ointment. The truth is the truth. But then you have the strength. Because this person finally, finally got the strength. Got the strength that he needed to, or could be a she, this person needed to accept the truth. They got the strength of what they needed to do to move forward. With the king, with the king of wands, they finally became their own leader. They finally started listening to themselves. Finally. They finally figured out listening to everybody else is going to get them fucked up. With the three of swords. Listening to everybody else is going to get you fucked up. You have to listen to yourself with the Nine of Wands. You have to stand guard. You have to be ready. So you ain't got to get ready. This person is finally realizing that they can create anything that they want. That the power is within them. That they don't have to wait on someone else to validate them that they have the power to create whatever it is that they want. 
and with that power, with that strength, they're choosing to walk the fuck away from what no longer serves them. I feel like spirit is very pleased. Very pleased with this person. They were confused. And maybe they are still a little confused as to how everything transpired. How everything went on. And maybe they were confused about this queen of, queen of pentacles. Could be somebody's mother. Could be somebody's wife. Could be somebody who is just about their business. Stays in their lane. Pays attention to their damn self. Raises their kids. Does whatever the fuck they need to do. Pay their own bill. And don't be all up in nobody else's damn business. Could be that that person was confused about that person. But I don't see how. Especially if that person wasn't doing nothing to nobody else. You know? You know? I mean, sometimes you have to ask yourself, somebody weak in the mind? Because sometimes that person who chose to believe the worst or the person who chose to lie and say the worst, sometimes it's, it's they need to have that wake-up call for spirit to say, look, motherfucker, there's more than just what meets the eyes. It's like spirits saying, I can tell that you're new to the game because you're letting the devil run in circles around you. And the devil is true to the game. Somebody, this king of coins, could be experiencing the tower moment. Somebody, maybe maybe they have a comfortable living, they have a lot of money, but they're very stingy or they're very controlling or they're very narcissistic or they want to play games all the time because it's not them, it's somebody else's emotions, so it don't fucking matter. You know what I mean? It don't matter when it's somebody else's emotions. I'll get over it. But when it's your emotions, oh, that shit matters a lot judgment but you know what they say what's good for the goose is also good for the gander what you give you should expect to receive because if you don't don't create that tangled web that you could weave because justice is always being served at the table. It's never a day it's not being served. You might not get it that day. You might not get it that week or that month. But honey, let me tell you something. You are going to get it. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, it's going to come. So anytime anyone is out there just doing some fuckery, some trickery, some word magic, Cre trying to create discord, trying to create discord. With that in and out energy, thinking it's all fun and all games. Thinking thinking I'll never get cut. Let me just go ahead and create this chaos. They won't be able to figure it out. Ain't nobody stupid and ain't nobody smart enough to figure it out because I got too many other people involved in it. You see? So if everybody does their part, they won't be able to figure out that it's me. But guess what? Someone is starting to see. Someone had to take some time out. They had to get really close with spirit. They had to rely on that little bird. That bird. 
with spirit talking to them showing them opening up their eye so they can see what's really happening and not just what someone wants them to see you know after 18 you know what they say you're too, you're too old to be acting brand new three of wands working with somebody maybe page of wands someone trying to create something new maybe try, someone trying to work with somebody trying to start something new let's see what else there who wants to start something new with that page of wands maybe something somebody wants to start something new with someone that's up, that's close to their heart you know hmm. what else spirit what else like maybe they want to start over yeah i feel like they want to start over you know because they have deep regrets for maybe how a family situation turned out and now it's like they they want to come in They want to start something brand new, but they want to start it on solid ground. They want to have it where it's just two people. Not three or four or ten or twenty or more because they understand now that the more that they have in their individual relationships, the worse it turns out. Like they say. Two's company and three is definitely a crowd. But there's someone that's thinking about this King of Cups with the Queen of Cups. Someone that's kind of soft in her emotions, but not not drowning in her emotions. But she knows how she feels. And she's very intuitive. Highly intuitive. So it's like you cannot get one over. All you can do is just be upfront and be honest. Because trying to get one over only leaves you out in the cold. Not her. Because she's too tapped in. She's too tapped in. She's connected to spirit. So, you know, like they say, honesty is the best policy, and it definitely is, with the star card. See, this person doesn't appear to have on any clothes or anything, completely open, completely vulnerable, completely al allowing the world to see this person as this person truly is and this person is truly is a star with the ten of coins at the bottom so someone someone is on their path someone is on their way someone is is leaving the devil and this could have been the toxic situation from someone from the past a long time ago someone that you you thought that you cared for someone that you thought cared for you but guess what the devil the devil doesn't care for anyone the devil only cares for him or herself that's it Anything else? I think I'm going to get another deck. Yep. Oh, okay. 
Yep, here's that Queen of Coin, uh, Queen of Cups. Listen, someone knows that that is like the love of their life, and and they are making their way towards this person. They are making their way towards this person, and they're going slow. The reason they're going slow is because they had to heal. They had to heal. But with the chariot, it's not them moving them forward. It's actually spirit moving them forward. Spirit said it was time. It was time for them to stop lying to themselves. It was time for them to be by themselves for a moment. It was time for them to realize what the truth was and who was speaking the truth. And what they were talking about when they were speaking the truth. And who they were speaking about. Let's see what else. Let's see if there's any oracle cards that Spirit wants us to pay attention to. At the bottom, we have Angel of Love. So someone is, their heart chakra is open. They're, they're understanding that love is more than just saying, I love you. Love is not about the physical things that we have. Love is about how we feel about ourselves, how we feel about others. Love is about being open. Love is about not judging. Love is about not believing that something that someone else has to say. That's stupidity. We have attachment, action, and at the bottom, broken heart. So yeah, it's time for someone to leave a toxic attachment. And like I said, this is this is this person thinks that they were doing it by themselves. No, spirit was already guiding this. This was already written. This was already written. Spirit was just waiting for this person to say, "I'm." ready that's when spirit knew that this person was ready for their own victory their own victory it was almost like spirit had to show them other ways because the person wasn't able they refused to see it how it really was and they were looking at it in different ways trying to make excuses well it's this well it's that well that's weird but i'm not really going to address that Spirit had to open up all these motherfucking doors and windows and shine so much bright light on everything to say, listen, you have to look at everything. You have to look at everything. It's not just one door. There's several different doors to look at. And after you look at that door, then you'll understand the attachments to the negativity that you've had and how it's time for you to move forward. How it's time for you to answer the call. How it's time for you to walk through the damn door. Either that or really experience the tower. I mean, you hate to be standing there and, and spirit pulled the, the rug up underneath you. Because when spirit pulled the rug up underneath you, this is, what, this is what you have. Nothing. Nothing. Not one thing. So, I mean, it's not rocket science. It don't even take no damn college degree. You ain't even really got to think about it. This is just common sense. 
So what decision is there to really be made? Really? You can either stay stuck where you're at. You see the woods? You see where she's at? And look, she's just like all foggy. All foggy. I don't know where I'm at. I don't really know where I'm going. Um, do I go left? Do I go right? I don't know. Maybe I'll eat a Snickers and I'll feel a little better. I don't know. I mean, come on, don't do that to yourself. But choosing, choosing to see it as it really is and choosing to be your own guide because then you choose to follow spirit and you choose to go through this door, the door to personal healing and happiness. What better door is that? Yes, it does. It does take strength. It takes that inner strength. It takes spiritual strength. You see those wings? See those wings? That's, those are angels' wings. It takes praying. It takes staying strong. It takes staying focused. It takes staying dedicated. No matter what. They're gonna, the, the devil is going to tempt you. Oh, let's do this. Let's do that. How about if I do this? How about if I do that? How about if I give you this? How about if I give you that? But see, every time that you can say, that's all right. No, I'm all right. Thank you anyway. Thank you, but no thank you. You win. You get stronger. You feel stronger. And it's easier to say no. That first time that you said no was so scary. But once you say no, you come to find out that you like saying no. And you may even say no to shit that you meant to say yes to. But you, you stop letting the devil control you. You stop letting people manipulate you. You stop believing all the bullshit that people say to you. No more. No more. No more. Because now you know who you are. Now you know who you are. You've walked through that door to value. Because you know who you are now. You know why? Because you walked through the door to spirit. Spirit says, it's time to walk away from what no longer serves you. Walk away. You don't even have to say bye. You can just say, I'm going to go get some cigarettes. I'll be right back. Or, let me call you right, right back. And don't ever call back. Put them on call block. Leave. Vanish. Disappear. Plan your move. Do what you got to do. But whatever it is that you got to do, you got to do it for you. Because when you ask for help and people help you or they go out of their way to assist you, but you still stay stuck in the same freaking situation, you make yourself look like a fool. You don't make yourself look like you're in love. You don't make yourself look like you're trying to work it out. You make yourself look like you're a fool. Especially if you're in tears one day asking for help, asking for assistance, asking for, help me get out of this. Just let me lead the way. You know, and, and then they send the boat and you're like, no. Nah. The water's not that bad. I think I'm just going to stay in here a little bit longer. And then you go, I need a boat. They're like, no. Spirit says, listen, it's time for you to have a new beginning. It's time for you to be joyful. I heard, and I'm going to try and sing it, joyful to the world. I don't know, but I feel like it's like a Christmas song. There's some Christmas song that says joyful to the world in it. I don't know exactly what it is, and I definitely cannot get it on key. But I 
kind of remember it. So, anything else? Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Look at this positive outlook. A pile of gold. Blessed. Feel good. Feel thankful. This is what Spirit says. Listen, hey, it's time. It is time. It's time. Time. And that's my computerized voice. It's time. Time. Because look at what spirit has for you look at all these doors this is what is waiting for you all you have to do is let go of these negative attachments make the decision to walk away make the decision to be the star that you truly are because guess what the longer you stay the more shit is going to come out that you're going to you're going to have to act surprised at and nobody that you go to is going to feel sorry for you because they're going to be like, oh, okay, wait, let's get this straight. You wasn't surprised at this. You wasn't surprised at that. Or this or that. Or this or that. Or this or that. But you surprised at this? Hey, get the fuck I'm born out of here. You know, you better go catch yourself. You know, so don't do it. It's time to recognize. It's time to realize when signals are being sent to you. Because spirit is only going to lovingly send so many signals. I mean, after so many signals that you continue to ignore, spirit says, okay, let me, let me get this person's attention right now. You know? Let me, let me show them, let me prove to them, yes, there is a God. And I can show you better than I can tell you. And trust me, you just want God to tell you. You don't want to be in the position where God says, okay, it's time for me to show you what I'm talking about. You think fat meat ain't greasy? Mm, get the frying pan. Mm. Yes, indeed. Anyway, this is Tracy. If this resonated, please give me a thumbs up. Maybe not the whole reading, but some of it. Give me a thumbs up. And thank you so very much. And I'll see you soon.